I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop. Today I'm going to make some miniature iconic road signs using the scroll saw. There are a lot of iconic road signs out there and many of them are genuine works of art. So I thought it would be fun to make some with a scroll saw. When I was a kid, my family would take vacations from Atlanta down to Florida and go to the beach. So to pass time in our Ford station wagon, uh, I would spend a lot of time looking at road signs. So uh, sometimes we would play this alphabet game where we start with the letter A and find a sign that had a letter A in it and call it out. And then move on to letter B and find a different sign that had a letter B and work our way all the way to Z. And whoever found a sign uh, with the letter Z in it at the end would be the winner. I always wondered if anyone else played that game or if it was just my family. Uh, if you played it, let me know in the comments below. Uh, anyway, what I've done is I've picked out some of my favorite road signs and also some signs from local landmarks in my area uh, to make with a scroll saw. While I was picking out the road signs that I want to make, I started thinking about how these can make great personalized gifts for people. Uh, for example, if someone took their family on vacation to a certain vacation spot for many years, maybe they got a tie to that location, uh, it'd be cool to make a sign from that location. Or maybe somebody has ties to a particular landmark in their hometown or a restaurant. Or maybe someone who retired from a company after working there for like 50 years uh, would like a sign of the company's logo. So uh, what you could do is make one to put on the wall or you could uh, make it on a stand, put it on a desk as a conversation starter. Uh, these signs could also be used for model railroads too, depending on the scale of the railroad. So let's get into it. Finding the templates for road signs is pretty easy. I just searched Google Images for the ones that I wanted. In this case, I searched for the Chevron logo and found it. I just copied and pasted the logo and put it into Microsoft Visio. And I actually uh, drew shapes over the top of it uh, to actually make cutting lines uh, for a cutting template. I also kept the original logo here to reference the colors when I paint it. But these are going to be basic segmentation projects where I take my template, glue it onto a board, uh, cut all the pieces out, uh, take it apart, sand everything, uh, paint it, and then glue it all back together to make the sign. Uh, so it's pretty simple. You can just search Google Images for the company logo, or you could search for an actual photo of a sign. You just want it to be a straight shot uh, so it's not uh, skewed in any way in the picture, uh, so you'll have a good template to use. Uh, so let's cut out some signs. The Varsity was founded in 1928 and is the largest drive-in fast food restaurant in the world. Its iconic sign can be seen when passing through Atlanta, Georgia. Rock City is a tourist attraction near the Georgia and Tennessee state lines. It opened in 1932 and by 1969, it was advertised on almost a thousand barn roofs and walls across 19 states. Shoney's Restaurant was founded in 1947. It became known for its breakfast bar and big boy statue at the entrance. When I was in high school, somebody took the big boy statue and put it on top of the school as a prank. The Chevron Energy Company was founded in 1879. It gets its name from the pattern that's used in its logo, which was named in the 14th century. You can find the Chevron pattern on everything from men's ties to patio papers. Interstate 85 runs through the heart of Atlanta, and I live just a few miles away from it. This interstate highway is 666 miles long, and a section of it in Atlanta was shut down in 2017 due to a huge fire and collapse. Waffle House is a 24-hour restaurant that's even open on holidays. 
The first location opened in 1955 in the Avondale Estates area of Atlanta. Its name came from the most profitable item on the menu, which is the waffle. Everywhere I drive around Atlanta, I see a Waffle House sign. The Gulf Oil Company was founded in 1901. It was one of the first to use its iconic logo to brand gasoline sold from pumps and containers to imply that it had a higher quality. Krispy Kreme is a donut chain that started from someone just making and selling donuts in a general store in 1933 in Kentucky. The original Atlanta location is located on Ponce de Leon Avenue and it has this iconic sign that I'm cutting out. They're also famous for their hot sign, which is a neon sign with the word hot that lights up whenever the donuts are hot and fresh. The Holiday Inn Hotel chain was founded in 1952. Their great sign was 50 feet tall with a star as a beacon along highways. One of only two remaining operating signs is at the Henry Ford Museum. My parents tell me when I was a kid and we were on vacation and we had passed by a Holiday Inn sign, I would wave at the star. The Big Chicken is a landmark in my hometown of Marietta, Georgia. It was built in 1956 and it's 56 feet tall. Locals use it to give driving directions and it's also used by airplane pilots as a navigation reference point. It's also home to a Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurant. In-N-Out Burger was founded in Baldwin Park, California in 1948 and they have a really cool sign. The fast food chain has locations in California and the Southwest, and someday I hope they come to Atlanta. Well, here are all the road signs I made with the scroll saw. I just made a few simple stands to hold them up so I could put them on display. Uh, a lot of these bring back some childhood memories and they also uh, remind me of some local landmarks here around the Atlanta area. What I'd like to know is, uh, do any of you have any particular road signs that bring back any memories for you or any local landmarks that are famous in your town? Uh, if you do, uh, leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear your stories. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please click that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new project video. Also, don't forget to check my website at thecarmichaelworkshop.com where you can find out more about my projects and download some free plans. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.